here with Faith, the Husky Lab Mix puppy, and today she's going to learn how to use the treadmill. All of our training and daycare dogs leave here knowing how to use the treadmill. Uh, a lot of our clients even buy them to have at home because they like it so much, especially for the winter exercise needs of your dog. Uh, so I have Faith, I got the puppy, I've got a treadmill, I have a dog pacer, it's a dog specific treadmill. A lot of people with dogs Faith size and smaller can get away with using human treadmills. If your dog is larger than, say, a lab, you might want to get a dog specific treadmill because their stride will be naturally longer and you don't want your dog walking cramped up on a too short track. Okay, I'm ready. I have the dog, the treadmill, I have a slip lead in case I need to guide her, and I have a bunch of treats. These are beef long treats, she likes them a lot, right? Alright, to start with, we're just gonna get the dog comfortable getting on and off the treadmill while it's not moving. Ready? Girl. So when the dog gets up there with all four feet, you mark with a yes or a good and feed them. And then before they choose to get off, you tell them, break, put, and toss the treat off. Good girl. You don't want your dog getting rewarded for getting off before being released. So make sure that you release them before they have the idea themselves. So first, very short sessions of getting on and off, and then longer time spent on. Good. Yes. As long as she stays up there, I'll reward her until I release her. Break. And toss the treat. Up, up. Good. I'm being deliberate about where my treat delivery is. I'm delivering the treat right about here. Good girl. Because when the dog's actually moving on the treadmill, I don't want her all the way up here or all the way back there. Right here is perfect. Good. I'm trying to treat her before she sits or downs. Break. And then release her before she chooses to. Crunchy. Up, up. Yes. Good girl. Break. Up, up. Yes. Break. Start the dog on the treadmill while it's moving. I'll get up there, of course, while it's not in motion. Get her comfortable as before. I have a slip lead on her. I probably don't need that for her, but I just want to show you how I would use it for a dog who, who might need the direction. What are you doing? You're not supposed to sit. Good girl. So if she's sitting down, that's okay. Break. Good girl. Break. I'm going to reset her. Good girl. And I'm going to start the machine. I'll start it on slow. The slowest possible uh, motion for it is half a mile per hour. Very slow. Good. Good girl. Good. She feels it moving. She starts walking. If your dog may need more encouragement. Keep the treats coming as long as she's going. Yes. Good. The slip lead is very loose. It's just there in case she bolts. Don't want her to hurt herself. Whoops. There you go. Good girl. Again, rewarding right here. Yes. Good job. You're so smart. Some dogs find it actually easier if it goes faster, so I'm going to kick it up a few notches to 0.9 miles per hour. A little bit more natural. Good girl. Good. She doesn't seem worried at all. Good. She's doing so well, I'm going to stop the exercise right here. Good. Easy. Good. I like to give my dogs a slow down cue. That means that the machine's gonna start to slow down. I say easy as it's turning off. Seems to help them understand. Good girl. Give her a nice massage. And then release her. Break. Good job. And then we repeat. Nice job. Up, up. Good. Get the slip off her. Start again. Up, up. Encourage you to stand up as it starts moving. Good. Good girl. Good. And then we'll use the treat to keep her in position. Good girl. Yes. You 
You're doing great, sweetheart. Yes, good girl. This takes a lot of focus, especially for a young dog. Good. Now, if you have a puppy who's face age, six months or younger, keep the sessions very, very short, maybe five minutes at the most. Older dogs a little bit longer until they're more comfortable, maybe 10 or 15 minutes in the beginning, with a very high rate of reinforcement. Good. Eventually, you can wean the treats out, although I still like to give all my dogs a treat every now and then to keep them guessing. Good girl. But most of them tend to uh, enjoy it on its own. Good. You turn it up a little bit higher. We're at 1.3 miles now. Good. Good girl. She's doing so good. Good. should be eager to get back on after every session. If they seem hesitant, you might need to spend more time conditioning them to really enjoy being on here when it's not moving first. You want to go again? That's too late. It's all done. Good girl. Break. Let's go. Come on. If you do a good job conditioning your dog to really enjoy the treadmill, you might end up with a dog like Lou. Lou! Lou's favorite part of the day at daycare is treadmill time. She runs for about half an hour every day. And she likes the fastest of the pre-programmed exercise modes. Put that on here. Move your face. And she actually asks it to go faster, but it can't go any faster. So take the time with your dog, and they'll end up loving it like Lou. Good girl. Now the most I'd let a dog on the treadmill uh, per day is probably half an hour increments. Taco runs every morning for a half hour at this pre-programmed mode, this exercise three. And you can see it comes with a timer too. It counts down from a half hour. Good girl. Any more, you might be burning your dog out. Uh, they don't need much more than that. And of course, this is a in addition to daily walks, hikes, training exercises. Uh, it's not, should it be the only form of your dog's enrichment. Good girl. And even with Lou, who loves the treadmill on its own, I'll still pop a treat in her mouth every now and then. It's like a slot machine. She says, if I keep running here, sometimes I'll eventually get a treat. Good girl. 